Okay, here is a quick core workout that is non-weight bearing for you. This uh, workout's put together for a friend of mine, Cindy, that had foot surgery. So this is a non-weight bearing workout for her, but you can do this as well. You don't have to have a hurt foot to do it. All right, let's get to work. So five exercises, guys, we're gonna go through all five, then we're gonna repeat them in a circuit a second time. First exercise is all fours. Go ahead and pick your leg of choice, straighten out. We're gonna start with the hip extension. Raise and lower that heel, and notice the movement is coming from the hip. So lift and lower. Core is tight, shoulders are stacked up over the wrists. Come on, you got a total of 45 seconds here. And notice that that other leg, that other hip, is stabilizing. So they're both working. One is going up in extension, and then the other one is stabilizing. 15 seconds left, and then I'm gonna have you stay on this same side. I'm gonna do another exercise here. Alrighty, my tushy is going to sleep here, and it really is after this next one because we're gonna add some hydrants. Whew. Now stay on that same leg, that same side is still gonna work. I'm gonna angle so you can see. So on all fours, same leg. So now I'm gonna bend my leg at 90, bend my knee out to the side and down. So imagine, imagine that you're your dog and you're just hiking to take a pee. Right there, kind of gross. But mine doesn't even do this, you guys. Mine straddle. But if my dog used a hydrant, this is what my dog would do. Another visual would be, you've got a flashlight here on your knee and then you're gonna shine that flashlight out to the side, right? All right, so it really should be burning now, especially that base knee, that base hip, from stabilizing when that knee comes out. And notice I'm not moving, I'm not coming out like this. I'm keeping my core straight, everything's tight. Just that right knee is externally rotating. All right, oh my God, Ugh. burning. Face down, you got your forehead on your hands. You're gonna go prone position, all right? I want you to curl up and let your knees kiss, your uh, heels kiss. And notice, I hope you can see me, I'm lifting and lowering my heels. Lift, lower, lifting my thighs off the ground. Really getting into the tush here. This is a booty work out. It's core, but hips are part of the core, right? So hip focused. Booty focused core workout, 12 seconds left. If you happen to have a bony pubic area and you want to bone, bowl, uh, double up on the mat or stick a pillow under there, totally fine there. All right, I want you to go on your side, pick a side, any side, elbow under the shoulders, knees are stacked. We're gonna go into a side knee plank. Gonna get a little bit of obliques here. Reach up with the arms, stay in your side knee plank, and then add abductions. All right, now what's an option you can do here if that is not comfortable? Well, you can drop your hands down, you can drop the hips, then lift the hips, then add the abduction, or you can stay in that side knee plank. So any of these are fine. Come on, straight line, shoulder to hips, even though we're at a side. Come on. Whew, I should have called this butt workout, but it is everything. Come on, time. Whew. And the last thing before we finish up this circuit and then do another set is to get on your knees. You want them wide and it's gonna be high, low plank. All right, so stack everything up. I'm in high knee plank, come down to elbows, back up. Now you can't do this on your toes, obviously, if you have a foot injury, but if you don't have a foot injury and you want to do this, totally fine. I'm making this entire workout non-weight bearing, so I'm keeping my promise, and that's why you're on your knees. Down, down, up, up. Straight line from the tip of your head down to your tailbone. Make sure you switch lead sides with the hands up, up down down come on last one guys four three two one Whew. all right drop back give it a stretch now remember to switch sides i'm going to switch directions just so i remember to switch sides 
Now we're going to start with a hip extension, so you're going to have everything stacked. Make sure you switch sides, guys. Get into a full hip extension. And then what I want you to do is flex your foot, lift and lower. Some people call this straight leg kickbacks. Same thing. This is a nice little workout, though, if you have to be non-weight bearing. Nice core workout. And if you wanted to make this even longer, you could do this three rounds, but I think two is going to be sufficient, especially all the hip focus that this has. Now remember, when we finish in 10 seconds, you're going to stay on the side and we're going right to hydrants. All right, come on. Three, two, one. Woo! Stay on that same leg. So stay, same base leg. I'm going to angle so you can see. I'm going to stay here. Bend that knee at 90. All right, you ready? Here we go. Timer's going. Take it out to the side and down. And notice if it's different from one side to the other. Do you have a weak side? Do you have a strong side? Is it equal? Can you raise it up as high as you can the other side? These are questions I ask myself. Remember, you're a pet, you're pet peeing, unless you're mine, mine straddle, or you've got a flashlight right there on your kneecap and you're shining it out to the side. The rest of it is square to the floor, shoulders, hips, square to the floor. And I've almost talked you through the whole thing. Oh my goodness, butt on fire, butt on fire. Get in a prone position all the way down. Forehead, rest on your hands. Bring your heels together, let them kiss. And now lift and lower. Remember what I said, if you've got a bony pubic area, you can double up your mats or get a pillow and put under your pubic bone because this can be uncomfortable. Come on, nice little glute squeeze, coming up in extension, get that low back too, low back and hips. 13 seconds, guys. We got two more and then we're done. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God. My butt is going to be so sore. Come on up. Flip over. Make sure your elbow is right under that shoulder. Stack the knees. Come up in a side plank. Reach up. Straighten out the top leg. So remember the options. Less intense here. Or you can drop your hips, then lift, then raise the leg. Or you can just stay up here in your side knee plank and multitask. This is not a sissy workout. I don't care if you got a shoe boot on. This is not a sissy workout. This is tough. Come on, eight seconds. Four, three, two, and one. And the last one, guys. Whoo! Lord have mercy. This is going to be the high-low plank. We're going to do this knee version to keep us non-weight bearing. Wide knees. Get in your plank. Shoulders stacked. Here we go. Down to your elbows. Back up. Down to your elbows. Down, down. Up, up. Down, down. Up, up. Down, down. Up, up. Come on, stay with it. This is the last one. Then we get nice stretches. Down, down. Up, up. Down, down. Up, up. Last few seconds. Looks like six seconds. Four, three, two, one and one. Drop your booty back there. Keep your hands on the floor. <sighs> oh, that feels good. Keep your booty back. Walk your hands over to one side and get a nice lat stretch on the opposite. And then walk your hands around to the other side. So again, non-weight bearing on the stretches. If this is uncomfortable, then sit on your bum and do it. And again, it depends on where you are. If you've got a foot injury, it depends on 
If, you're, if you have a shoe boot on, what type of injury, foot or ankle? Walk back to the center, drop your chest towards the mat. Whew. And then slowly walk up. Go ahead and transition over to your bottom. Everybody should be able to do this one. Legs out straight, we're gonna get hamstrings low back. Big deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale up. And then exhale, reach forward. And you might be tight if you've been sitting a lot from being non-weight bearing. All right, I want you to rotate over to one side. So I'm going over to the right. So my pinky, my pinky is lined up with my pinky toe on my right side. And then I'm gonna walk over to the other side. My right pinky is gonna line up with my left pinky toe. And then back to the center, reach forward. My head is up, don't look down. And then arms up, let your knees butterfly if that's comfortable to your foot, and then hinge forward from the hips, stretching your low back and hips. You are done. See, injuries don't stop us, do they? All right, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.